since I got time, I might as well um, try to play with this carburetor. Um, ever since I got into the accident, I noticed that um, when when I'm sitting at idle, the engine shakes. It feels like it's gonna turn off, but it doesn't turn off. Um, so what I'm gonna do is try to get the caps off of the um, the with the air and fuel mixture adjusting screws or whatever that that's on the carburetor. Um, I've been watching a couple videos about it. And they said if your your carburetor never been serviced before, that um that it will have the caps on it. And I looked at my carburetor, and they do have the caps on it. As soon as I get to where I'm going, I'll show you guys what what I'm talking about. I'm almost there right now. But yeah, let me park. I'm going to park the car right now. I'm in the park. I'm going to park. Set everything up and show you guys what I'm talking about. Hopefully I can get these caps off so I can um, see if I can adjust. See if I can adjust this uh, carburetor. I did order the tool to adjust it. But if I can find anything to... Uh, I don't know. I didn't even get the caps off yet, but um, it's telling me that it's like a, a D-shaped. It's a special carburetor adjustment tool. So I'm gonna right now. I'm gonna try to knock the caps off. I'm parked right now, so let me turn. Let me get everything set up and um, show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, everything's set up. Uh, I don't have any tools, but. Just gonna let the camera go. I'm gonna let the camera run, and I can edit the video later. But I don't even have the right tripod today, and it is windy out here. I know you guys just seen the um, camera move. Scared, scared the crap out of me. I thought it was gonna fall to the ground, but it didn't. What I'm doing now is just taking the air cleaner off just to get it out of the way. I don't want to bring the camera up too high because it's already about to fall, but should be good right there, hopefully. All right, what I was talking about, let me move some more stuff. Unplug this plug to get it out of the way for right now, and this this vacuum hose. Just twist and pull out, and it will come out. These guys see it? Just get that out of the way right now. All right, what else? Just what I didn't want to do, but what I was talking about is the little caps. I don't, I can't see if you guys can see it, but there's caps on the bottom of the um, carburetor. gonna need tools so let me find some some kind of tool 
so I can knock these caps off. He can't even say it. What I'm talking about. I don't think you can see it, but there's one cap over here on the bottom of the carburetor, and there's one right there. I don't know if you, like I said, I don't know if you guys can see it. You should be able to, because I can see it. It's right there. So let me go in the trunk and try to find like a chisel or a punch or something so I can punch and try to get this thing out. All right, so I got a screw. Maybe that will help knock a hole in the cap. A flathead screwdriver and a hammer. This is the smallest hammer I have on me at the time. And I grabbed some needle nose pliers. So. What I'm gonna do is take twist this off, this vacuum line, I just replaced this not too long ago, I just need it out of my way for right now and that's probably not going to come off because I put it in there really tight, let me see if I can knock a hole, try this side, it looks like it has uh, more space. But they they said if the caps are still on, then nobody ever um, tuned it or um, rebuilt it. So the caps are both the caps are still on. So. Doesn't look like anybody messed with it. This hammer is way too big. But this is what I got on me at the time. I was just sitting in the house, bored, nothing to do. I said, let me try to knock these caps off. Like I said, I already ordered the um, tool. It's like a long, flexible screwdriver. It bends and it has a different attachments on it. It's made for a carburetor. It's made for carburetors. Carburetor rebuild or tuning up. So yeah, this doesn't. doesn't look like it's gonna come out that easy I wish I could just uh, drill a hole in it and put something like a pulley in there and just a damp puller I'm talking about but I don't Not even dressed, dressed to be doing this, but it's only a t-shirt. I don't have nothing special on. It's just a t-shirt. Yeah, I can't even move in here. There's like everything in the way. It's really hard. I wish this didn't screw was a little bit longer. Definitely not, definitely not going to work with that. It's too short. I never did this before. I'm just trying something different. Just trying to make the car run a little better. Yeah, it does. It doesn't look like I'm getting these caps off. 
I don't know if you're supposed to take the carburetor off to do this. But I'm definitely not taking the carburetor off today or anytime soon. Because the car is going to the body shop. I got to drop it off on this Wednesday. Right now it's Friday. Wednesday they called me and told me to drop the car off. So who knows how long they're going to have it to um, fix the, the front end. like if I had a longer screwdriver or something with a pointy pointy tip it would be easy to get this out but who knows I'm just trying I don't know just trying to do something it's better than sitting in the house it's doing nothing the only caps they gotta be the way a way to get them out but let me look in the trunk some more and see what else I can find to try to get these caps off. All right, um, I found a chisel. I'm gonna try to use this, the hole punch. I'm just gonna put that in there, hopefully. Put it where I need it. It already doesn't look too promising. Yeah, it's not even staying on the top of the cap. What I gotta do is make a dent in the cap, try to, so I can have a, so the punch will have a place to sit. Looks, looks like the cap is going in more. I don't need that, I need it to come out. I'm pretty sure it would be so much easier if I took the carburetor off, but I am not doing that today. I am not taking the carburetor off. Probably not gonna happen, but I'm gonna keep trying. It would be nice if you guys could see what I was talking about. I try to put the camera over here. That's as high as the camera goes, so. High as I can get it. Should have brought the drill with me. That probably would have been a better thing to do, but I don't 
have it right now to the house and I'm not at the house. It really does look like I knocked it in instead of knocking it out, but Yeah, I've been trying. I've been banging it like crazy. I even uh, messed up the tip of this uh, screwdriver trying to do it. But right now, I'm trying to find out the, what kind of carburetor this is. I do see some numbers over here. I do see some numbers over here. It says, can't really read them, but it says 1708425. And it looks like another eight. And then on the, under that, it says 11. 1164 JHJ. I guess that's what it says. I can't really see it says Rochester Quadrajet right there right there and the numbers are over here and back here it has a sticker on it that says 425B and there is numbers up here too but and there's number there's numbers on all right here right here Back here, right here. There's numbers up here too. There's numbers everywhere in this thing. So I wanted to order the um, carburetor rebuild kit, but I don't know what model carburetor this is. Um, I want to just take the whole thing off. It's too late for me to do that. Take the carburetor off completely. I just want to take it off and knock those uh, caps out and everything. But I would have to take the fuel line off. And this line right here, the, um, the brake booster vacuum, I would have to take that off. There's a lot of stuff I would have to take off just to do that. But I think the most, this one, the fuel line from the um, pump to the cob, I would have to take that off and this uh, vacuum line to the brake booster. And I really don't want to get into that right now. Like I said, it's too late. And I don't know anything about carburetors but I cannot get those caps out. I've been here for a while banging on them. I told you I messed up the screwdriver, but I don't know. I might just have to wait, wait until um, I get the car back from the body shop. I'm just, like I said, I was just here doing nothing. I figured I'd try try to knock those caps off or find find a vacuum leak or something but there, there's no I, I changed all these vacuum lines I'm not I don't see any vacuum leaks over here they could be but I don't see any I changed all of this all of these are new all of this stuff is new not all of them like, uh, there was a big one over here. This one, this big one, that goes to the PCV valve that's in the, the valve cover right there. That goes, where is it? That goes right here to this, down here to this big vacuum hose. 
Then there's another big one. I'm pretty sure I changed that. It goes into this little round thing. I don't know what that is either. But what I think I'm going to do is just idle it, idle it up. The idle screw is right here. It's a, I got to take this thing off. And it's right behind there. It's right here. And I can't fit the screwdriver in there to turn it, so I have to take this off to um, get to it. I really don't even need this thing on here right now because I want to take I want to take this off. I think that goes to the smog or this is for the cruise control, and I, that that's for the cruise control thing. So I think it's for the cruise control. So, I don't know. I can't get any model number off here. I got those numbers, and I don't see any more numbers. Let me look on the other side. Okay, you can't really, can't see nothing. I don't see any more numbers. So, I'm pretty sure I'll just have to Google those numbers, and it should tell me what um carburetor this is <sighs> so looks like i wasted a whole bunch of time but i wasn't doing nothing anyway so um what i'm gonna do is just idle that up so let me grab the tools and i'll be right back all right i found the tools i had everything in the box because i was messing with the um I tried to install this this thing not too long ago, so everything was ready in the box. I gotta throw this away. I don't even know where the other one's at. It should be in the box too, but I'm gonna take this off right now. Move it out of the way. So I can idle this. I'm just gonna idle it a little bit more than it is. One screw, put it somewhere so I don't lose it. And there's one on the bottom of that. I'm gonna have to move the gas a little bit to get to it, but that's it. You don't have to take the whole thing off. You just loosen the bottom enough, but I'm gonna take the whole thing off. So you guys, be able to see I'm gonna take the spring off too because it's it's holding on that bracket so I'm just gonna disconnect the spring I know you guys can't see so let me move you over here move it down a little bit see what's going on Spring off. Finish taking this thing off. I don't know what it is, but it's in my way. I'm pretty sure this is for the um, cruise control. So this is the screw right here that I was talking about. I probably still can't say. I cannot get a good angle for anything. But that's the screw right there. So what I'm gonna do is just turn it up a little bit, a little bit more. I turned it up. 
should be good right there. I don't even need this thing, but I'm gonna put it back on because I don't want to take it off and lose it. And the one on top I remember one of my friends told me that his father um, rebuilds carburetors I'm gonna have to call him up and that's the thing I can't call I don't want to call him right now because the car's going in the shop so it's going in to to get fixed, so why should I call him now if I can't even do, do anything? If I'm not gonna have the car. It would be nice if I could take the carburetor off while it was in the body shop, but I'm pretty sure they don't want a car that doesn't run in the body shop. I don't know, I just wait. The car runs, it just doesn't run that good on idle. All right, those are all tight. Put the spring back on. Hook the spring back up to the gas pedal. That's the return spray. Oh, I guess that's what they call it. And put this thing back in the carburetor. I can't see, so I gotta go over there. Stick that in the hole and twist it. I don't need to twist it. All right, that's in. What else did I take off? I took off this plug. Plug that in. This plug right here. Plug that in, that's in, make sure I didn't miss anything. This is, this goes to the air cleaner, uh, it goes to the um, vacuum hose that's on the air cleaner. Um, I do want to spray, spray the carburetor down with some kind of lube or something, but I want to take this thing off so bad you don't even know it, but I can't be stuck without a car. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to um, spray it with some kind of, I think I got some WD-40 or something, spray all this stuff up. So let me try to see if I can find something in the trunk. Found some PB Blaster, but it doesn't have the right cap. Let's see what I can do with this. Oh god, that's not working. Oh, it's just getting on the manifold, the uh, exhaust manifold. I mean, the intake manifold. Uh, let's see if I can find another um, spray can with this kind of cap on it. Alright, so I found a cap. Hopefully this one works. Oh yeah, that's a way better than that other one. What I'm doing is just spraying all the springs and all the mechanical stuff, so it will be, so it can move freely. I hate the smell of PB Blaster and WD-40. I hate it. 
Now I gotta smell that because it's all over the damn engine, but it will go away. Alright, so I can't do nothing. I'm gonna put it back together and bring my butt back in the house. This was the whole the um, vacuum hose that I was talking about that goes to the air cleaner. So the air, let me double check, make sure everything's right. All right, so plug that into there. Put the air cleaner on, put this foil, connect that up there, put this here. This one back here, you can see it, that goes into there. And this big one over here just pushes right into the air cleaner. Put the cap on. Somebody asked me what air filter I used. I hope you got the... I replied to your message. I hope you got the message. Um, I told you I believe that almost every time I um, work on this car. Let me see if the number's on here. Ace. It says ACA348C. But I replied to your message, so. But this is what I got. I don't have anything to measure it with. Maybe I do in the trunk. Let me see. All right, so I found the measuring tape. We're looking at a little bit, a little bit under three and a half. It's 12, 12 inches and a little bit under three and a half. I'm not sure what that is. You know, you guys know that I'm bad with the tape measure. Like I said, I only do inches and halves. But yeah, that's what air filter I use. I need to replace this, uh, I don't know what it is, oil pressure sensor or temperature sensor, but this thing's messed up. As you can see, I, I taped up the wires and they just, just keep coming loose. I need to cut the wires and fix this because this is not good. I don't know if you guys can see. This is not good. I don't know what that is. If anybody knows what that is right here, let me know. Because I need to order the right one. But that's going to be it for this video. I'll put that thing back in. Let me try to tape it up a little better while I have it. Um, while I have it apart, but I'm going to put all this, these tools away. It should be good. I do have heat, heat shrink somewhere, but I cannot find it. So I'm just going to retape these up. Now that I got it unplugged, I can tape them up a little better, hopefully. But I just taped these up. I just wrapped tape around it real quick. Try to do a little better job this time. Because I know these wires shouldn't be touching each other. But this thing is so old. What I wanted to do was just cut it and put some heat, heat shrink in there. But it's not happening today. 
and I um, cut myself again. So I got blood up there and I got blood down there. I poked myself with the, um, the center punch or whatever, some kind of hook. And I cannot get this thing off the side. Finally. Just try to tape it up a little better than what it was so these wires don't touch. But if anybody knows what this is. This, uh, I think it broke. I think the other piece, I'm pretty sure. Let me see if I can take it off. Yeah. This is the, the other part of it right here. The rubber just broke. But this is the other piece, so it's something like this, I guess. I guess it goes like that. If anybody knows what this is, let me know because I need to get, I need to get, I need this connector. That's what I need. I don't need a new one of those, but I'll change that too. If I knew what it was. It'd be nice if I could find one of these cars in the junkyard so I can just take it off. These cars are really hard to find in the junkyard. Two door ones and four door ones. They are so hard to find. I'm gonna go over it one more time and then wrap both of them together. And I'll be good for now. That would be amazing if this was the reason why my car was running. But I doubt it. I put one through the middle. Try to. Getting dirt in my mouth already. Grease. But this is all I can do for today. There's nothing else I can do. Uh, I guess this went like this. I don't know where this rubber piece. Is there even any more pieces? Yeah, but it's it's broken. I guess it went like that, I don't know. Add it now. Guess it went like that. Just gonna stick it in there. Clicked on. We started up. Watch this thing blow up. Finish tightening that up. All right, let me start it up. This 
see how the motor is shaking? That's what I'm trying to get rid of. I changed the spark plug wires probably three times already. I can't get rid of the tape. Guy scared the shit out of me. I'm not supposed to be swearing on my channel, man. You see the shake? That's what I'm trying to get rid of. All right, that's all I can do for today. It's getting dark out here. It's still nice, though. I'm out here in no jacket. Finally getting warm. But the car started up. It started up really smooth, too. But that's all I could do for today. I couldn't take the caps off. I tried. At least I tried. Um, yeah.